up and welcome to Vasi TV. My name is Mojabeng Meko and if you've just joined us, we are here at the Faculty of Art and Design right here at the University of Johannesburg. So the, the topic as you have been introduced is the decolonization of knowledge in engineering and the built environment. This presentation is in fact inspired through the movements that has risen in South Africa over the last uh, two years. Well, if you've just joined us to get today, we've got Professor Sinha. Professor Sinha, welcome to Varsity TV. Thanks very much, and I'm very, very glad that you folks could join us today. Thank you very much for having us, actually. <laughs> and also, we just want to know, just tell us more about what the presentation was about. Yeah, the talk, the talk tonight was about decolonization of uh, knowledge in engineering in the built environment. Okay. And uh, this is a, a program for implementation, and the University of Johannesburg is taking this topic further. So, we took the approach of taking sustainable development as our thematic approach which happens to be the United Nations goal but what we liked about the sustainable development is that it seeks to address poverty for example uh, access to water but to bring this for all and what we like about the component of all is that it devolves the problem to reach the poorest in our nation and when we start to think from this dimension we start to think about decentralized and hybrid approach and these also happen to be elements of decolonization and so the fact that these aspects uh, can relate although this is not the only element there are a number of other elements of to decolonization and Africanization uh, so this is what this talk was about uh, was about how do you integrate uh, this into the curricula into developing knowledge uh, and developing learning okay you talked about uh, having set projects like engineering set projects on what you in the presentation so can you just tell us more about which set projects are you guys were you referring to uh, in, in the engineering uh, spectrum? Yeah, I'm going to talk about a particular project or program which is engineering projects in community service right. and we are using models and variances of this uh, framework in our program. So we have for example a project which is led by uh, the School of Electrical Engineering in Guakwani which has recently brought about water and solar based solutions solar based rural electrification for people who would not normally be touched by uh, entities uh, you know such as ESCOM uh, because there's a smaller number of population and it may not make a business decision business sense for these entities but for us we realize that uh, energy water brings about uh, you know it it uh, brings about a world to these individuals that are there and are thus impacted uh, by the work that we do there but we have some other projects also in the near, nearby regions such as Katrada Park where we have looked at bringing solar based solutions in lighting uh, to this community. Alright, thank you very much but just before we go just can you please just give us uh, your social media platforms where can people get you any potential students who want to join the engineering field and of course the projects that you mentioned. Yeah, so as, uh, as the Faculty of Engineering and Built Environment of the University of Johannesburg we are on Facebook as Engineering at UJ uh, uh, we are also present as hashtag UJ Phoebe. Uh, we are also present on a number of places such as hashtag SDGs. Uh, I'm active on uh, uh, Facebook, Twitter, as well as on LinkedIn. And on Twitter, I'm ssina underscore IEEE. And on uh, Facebook, I'm Saurabh Sina in Johannesburg. There are others uh, with the same name, but you should be able to find uh, quite easily. Uh, so we are active and we realize that uh, people today communicate in hashtags and so we are very much in tune with uh, tomorrow's communication thank you very much for coming and having this conversation with us Great. and we really loved being here thank you very much right. all right and that was professor Sina right here at varsity TV joining us is Tihu Cornelius and she is from the SAIEE oh Tihu, can you just tell us more about what exactly is SAIEE SAIEE um, is the South African Institute of engineers. Um, it looks at promoting electrical engineers, um, the electrical profession within our society. Alright, and uh, are there any programs that you guys have set for maybe people who are interested in joining the SAIEE or do people actually have to go to school, varsity first? Okay, so um, I'm currently the chairperson for the Houghton Centre for SAIEE. Um, 
we do have different um, programs. Um, in particular for students, we have um, student chapters yeah. that we are setting up for UJ, for VERTS, for um, all the other varsities around the Gauteng area. Um, so students are able to join there and then if you have studied electrical engineering as well, you are able to register with SAIEE. And like we mentioned earlier, um, if you are not of the engineering profession, you can then register with the SAIEE as an associate member. Oh, cool, cool. I think I should do that, even though I didn't do engineering. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> However, but then, yeah, like you said, like people can, uh, people who did, who studied engineering can join these programs. But what are the social media platforms? How do people actually come in contact? Maybe I'm from Botswana, Polokwane. How do people actually come in contact with you guys? Okay, so we have different platforms. We've got different centers within South Africa. So say if you are from Polokwane or Cape Town, you would then join that particular center. But otherwise, say SAA as a whole, we have we are active on Facebook, we are active on Twitter, LinkedIn, and what other media platform? <laughs> Instagram. Insta no, we're not on Instagram. Ah, you guys should be on Instagram. Oh, okay, I'll tell my team. I'll <laughs> tell my marketing team. Yeah, but for, for, for Facebook, we're very active on Facebook. Right. So you've got a page there. There's a main SAIE page and then there's a CGC page, the Central Houghton Center page. So you can also. Um, okay, so when we go to Facebook, we just go SAIE Central Houghton Center. Right. Yeah. Thank you very much. Joining us is Bongani, who was a programs officer for tonight's presentation. Bongani, welcome to Varsity TV. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm well, thank you. Now, can you just tell us what exactly is it that you do as a programs officer? Well, as a programs officer for INCOSI, which stands for International Council of System Engineering, yeah. I organize events and coordinate events like the event that we had today. I also assist other people in organizing some of our uh, yearly conferences at the INCOSI. Oh, okay. Can you tell us more about what INCOSI is? Well, INCOSI is an international council for system engineering and specifically here we have a South African section. We are basically trying to build a community where system engineers can engage together, show knowledge and perspective about system thinking, applying system engineering into working environment and also to try and encourage different disciplines so that they can come together because system engineering basically works in a multidisciplinary domain and one of the things is to ensure that we can communicate together the same language in terms of system engineering. Alright, and do you have to be an engineering student to be a part of INCOSE or can it be anyone who's interested in joining the program uh, participate? Well, INCOSE anyone can join the INCOSE, although it's currently dominated by people who are engineers, but one of the things I've mentioned is that it's a multi-domain environment where even, you know, you have cell people in terms of medical practice who need to apply system thinking so that is one of the objectives that we want to expand it and show people that this is not just limited to engineers but it's something that is about how do you think and approach solving problems and realizing that problems have certain interconnections and interreactions and how do you manage those as you develop solutions toward addressing problems all right well i don't have any problems right now however if we want to contact you maybe wanting to join in cause where can we find you guys on social media platforms okay you can visit the INCOSI website, which is the www.incosi.org and you can find different links and you can also register online based on the INCOSI joining our team. So that is the shortest way of getting engaging. Alright, thank you for having us and we are very honored to have come to this event.